This is the library webpage. As you can see down the left hand side, the instruction and workforce menu from the top has been recreated. If you scroll down a little bit, here it is library services and our menu is available, including search the catalog, e-resources, FAQ, policies and guidelines, meet our staff, services, tutorials, archive and general information. These things are duplicated in the center of the screen as a tiled menu with pictures. Further down the left-hand menu, you've got the location information for the Brooks Cork Library on the Martin campus and the Lewis Library on the Fred campus. So if you need to locate us or know what our hours are or give us a call, all of that information is available down this left-hand side. Tiled menu in the middle, a little bit about everything. Search the catalog allows you to look for a book. E-resources allows you to go to our electronic resources page, which is the jumping off point for all of our online resources and databases. FAQ is commonly asked questions. Policies and guidelines are behavioral things in the library. Services are things that you can have done in the library or that the library is willing to do for you. Meet our staff. This is where you'll click to see uh, pictures and the contact information for everyone who works in the library. This is a good place to go if there's a specific librarian you're working with or you want to talk to a specific person. All of their contact information will be available there. Tutorials. If you click on tutorials, there'll be video tutorials. If you're in an online class and you want to know more about certain parts of the library or if you've had a face-to-face -face class, and you don't remember something that was said or you need a, a brush up on your skills, that's where you'd go. The archive, we do have an online archive of information about the school that we maintain. It's all sorts of historic information about Shelton. And then we have a spot for general information, which would be things like the history of the library specifically. And that is an overview of the library's webpage.